Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to explore the importance of extern keyword in C language. Let's get started. So this is one of the previous program that we wrote in a lecture called user defined file creation in Keel Microvision ID. I hope you remember this. We have created two different files that is one is a source file user file 1.c and the respective header file for that source file that is user file 1.h with the same name. And we are just using that source file right over here. We have included the header file for the source file and we have used the two functions that we declared and defined inside the user file 1.c. So we are calling this file function 1, function 2 and we are printing some string right over here. So this is what we have done in this program and now we are just going to understand the importance of the keyword extern. So extern is a short form of the word external. Just remember that. So this helps us to extern or extend the scope of variables from one source file to various source files or extend the scope of functions from one source file to various other files in your project. So for example, let me just declare a variable right over here to be int of a. So this int a is a global variable which means this is global to this file user file 1.c. So I can use this variable a right over here or right over here inside the function 2 also. It will not show me any error you can clearly see here I am assigning the value of variable a to be 1 inside the function 1. And here inside the function 2, I am just assigning the variable a value to be 2, but it is not showing me error because this variable a right over here is global to this source file. So you can use this variable wherever you want inside this source file. But what if I just want to assign some value to this variable a in my main function inside this source file? main.c file. You can clearly see this is throwing me an error that is use of undeclared identifier a. Identifier means variables so it is showing me an error of use of undeclared variable that has been used right over here inside this main function in main.c file. So for utilizing the variable that has been declared and defined inside one source file that is user file 1.c in another source file that is main.c file what we can do is we can extend the scope of this particular variable to this main.c file. So I can write extend int of a right over here. So what this declaration does is it will extend the scope of this variable int a right over here to the main.c file. So this declaration is not a definition keep in mind that this is just a declaration which will help us to extend the scope of this variable which has been declared and defined in user file 1.c. So now you can see the error has gone. So this is how the extend keyword helps us to extend the scope of one variable to various other source files. So the most common practice that we do in embedded programming or in any other programming standards is we will declare and define a particular variable inside source file and we will declare the same variable in the header file that is we have already called or included this user file 1.h so what we can do is we can just simply take out this extend int a and add it to the user file 1.h now also you can see this error has gone so this is the common practice among programmers so we will be declaring and defining whatever the variables that you want to a source file in the .c file and we will be extending the scope of the variable if it is required 
in the respective dot h file so wherever you want to extend the scope of this variable you can just simply add this header file user file one dot h and you can directly use and access the global variables of that particular source file so this is a common practice so keep in mind whatever the global variables that you are using in source file right over here if you want to utilize them in any other files you just want to add this extend keyword and you want to redeclare that variable in the dot h file and if you don't want to use them in any other files you can just leave it you can just declare it and you can use it within this function that is not a problem but if you want to extend the scope you just want to do this declaration right over here that's it so this is the property of extend storage class specifier so it helps us to extend the scope of variables or functions from one source file to various source files in the same project you can also use this extend keyword to functions also like this in some advanced latest compilers this will only work when you declare the functions in one file and if you want to use them in another files so these two means the same you can also use this extend keyword for functions also like this this will also compile you can see i am getting zero and zero warnings so likewise you can use this extend keyword to functions and also for variables for extending their scope from one file to various source files in your project i hope you learned the importance of extend storage specifier in this video see you in the next video thanks for watching